Hi everyone, we're Two Crafty Steelers. Uh, today we're going to bring you a video with all of our finishes for July and August of this year. We'll apologise in advance. This is the, oh, we're already halfway through September and we're only just recording this, so <laughs> sorry about that. <laughs> but we're getting there. Um, for anyone who's new to us, welcome. Look, this is normal for us. Don't, don't think any yeah. different. We're pretty chill here. Um, That's it, no structure we, for us. <laughs> We do what we can when we can. It's, it's just <laughs> we're real. So there you go. Um, so if you're new to us, welcome. It's great to have you join us. If you're someone who's been following us for a little while and you seem to be okay with our crazy, welcome back. Yes. Hello. <laughs> Long time no see. <laughs> That's all right. That's all right. <laughs> um, so. Loz is going to start us off with one of her finishes. So show us what you've done. Yes, I'm excited. Everyone should be excited for this one. I finished Hide and Seek. Yes. My first dream of, I'm not Dreamer Designs. What is it? Diamond Dots. Yeah. <laughs> and Belle can vouch for this. I absolutely hated it. Absolutely you hated it. the whole time. It was, yes. <laughs> Literally. <laughs> The whole, every single diamond I put down, I whinged about. It was confetti hell. I didn't like the spacing between the diamonds. I didn't like the trash in the diamonds. I hated everything, <laughs> which is, well, I have done dream, um, diamond dots before. Like I've done all the Mickey and Minnie. I've done Belle and Cinderella. So I've, I've done them before, but this one, oh, all I can say is no wonder it was on clearance because it was <laughs> terrible. Look, but it looks admit, beautiful. Yeah, he's beautiful and sparkly and everything, but like all these greys, and there's only one, how many colours? 12. 12 colours with four um, crystals. So that was, the crystals were amazing and they look so beautiful, but yeah. the confetti is just crazy. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> I didn't it, like it one bit. I think I haven't got my book out, but I'm pretty sure I started this back in June or something a oh long time ago. And, yeah, I finished it yesterday, which was the 14th, 14th of September. Wow. So this one took me like two months, three months. <laughs> I don't know. <laughs> um, and it's a yeah, I know. It's so sparkly though, isn't it? But I'm so it proud is. you did it. You did it and it looked good. And it's done. <laughs> so yeah. you can't whinge at me now. <laughs> <laughs> you got to get that get koala together. done. <laughs> How do we get through this together? Yes, it, it was not fun. <laughs> <laughs> Which you'll understand why I have so many whips to show you. <laughs> <laughs> I we, will not like it. we will get you through this one, don't Yeah. <laughs> but yeah, it's that's my good. first well, it's actually my second finish for these two months, but I wanted to get it out of the way because I don't like it. <laughs> <laughs> you want to put it out of sight, out of mind, never to be seen again, yeah, right? It was, like, it was my tenth finish. Hang on, let me get my book. I should have been a bit more prepared. I keep got my book here. I did keep all the. Hang on. Okay, so I started this one on the sixteenth of June. Finished it on the fourteenth of June. Of September, sorry. It is my 10th finish for the year. Hey? Okay. Three months. Yeah. <laughs> okay. <laughs> Don't. Stop it. And these, <laughs> this was the trash for half of it. I only just started collecting the trash probably when I was about here, <laughs> um, when I'd finished most of it. And, mm -hmm. like, a lot of the crystals, they were just printed back the front. Uh, so it's yeah. not much, but it drove me crazy. So, yeah, that is um, Hide and Seek Koala. It's a partial from Diamond Dots. Of course. Right. So my first finish, and I yes, I am going to count this as a finish, is it's one of the paint drum kits. Um, so I've, I've managed to do all 10 images, so I'm now counting it as a finish. Um, it was the first one I've ever done from Paint Jam. So I'm really glad that I gave them a go. I actually quite like them. You know, it's 
they're all squares so you know if i if i want just a small square to get a quick finish but at least get the satisfaction of a beautiful square i like them um and you're getting a fair bit of detail considering the size of them really because these images are only nine centimeters yeah so they look amazing um a couple of them i will put my hand up and i'm gonna sort of do a like you know a little bit of a justification a little bit of them like a little bit wonky so like this one you can sort of see there's a bit more you know through the sky i haven't done it completely straight and accurately oh, yeah. i am gonna you know do a justification of i actually did that one in the car when i was traveling for that <laughs> trip a couple of months ago so you know Ooh. i'm totally writing that off that that's not me that you had a couple of winos you had a couple of winos one night doing that while watching the Olympics. Guaranteed. No, genuinely, we were camping and so we're on a dirt road. <laughs> so it was pretty bad. And I kept looking at my husband going, do you mind? Can you just find some <laughs> things in the way, please? Oh. Um, okay, so there was actually 30 colours in these. So I started them on the 26th of May and I finished them on the 18th of July um and these were just a great size and they're they're really good size even for us to do our whip and chat video so i really enjoyed them um there wasn't heaps and heaps of trash either which was good and like you know i'm picky with my trash um so yeah. that's what i had that's not bad yeah it's not horrendous not horrendous so i was like that's pretty cool and a lot of them were you know just drills that ended up in the wrong colored bag or you know they had holes in them and tabs and stuff like the normal stuff but it wasn't too bad um the only criticism that i did have which is been mentioned and i did mention in my unboxing video of this one is with the legend sheet it's one of those things that it concerns me a little bit if i lost the legend sheet because there's no backup like there's nothing yeah. printed on the edges so even with like the bags of drills so sorry for the crinkle this is what I had left over. So I actually had still a fair few, fair few yeah. drills left over. Um, but you can oh. see like it's the drill number and then the DMC number and then the weight of it. So the only reference that you have to make sure that you got it right is in my little box, is your sticker sheet. So if any of these fall off, get lost, whatever it might be, you've got no backup. So yeah. the only thing that I've sort of decided I'm going to pick fault with, um, but at the same time, like there's ways to get around it. You know, you can take a photo of it. You can end up, um, you know, contacting Paint Gem, and I'm sure they would give you a copy of it. And their Facebook community is really, really good. Like I've seen other people say, oh, I've lost, you know, two stickers and I'm just not sure which one is which. And the, the community are really, really good at going, hey, I've got that one, I'll check for you. So it's not the end of the world, but it was something I did notice. Yeah. Yeah. That was yeah. the for June. That's July. July. <laughs> They're awesome. Yeah. I'm really tempted. You know I keep saying to you, I've got to try these little ones. <laughs> yeah. I don't yeah. need any more stuff to go through. <laughs> I've got four more coming. <laughs> oh. Oh. My second finish for July is Bear Time Stories. So I wanted to do... You know, I wanted to support the, the Spangler event that was going on. Um, we didn't actively participate, but we wanted to support it. And I hadn't done a Spangler for a while, so I was super keen to do one. Um, so this one is Bear Time Stories. I started on the 1st of July and I finished it on the 27th of July. So I just got in in time. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> um, now, with that one... Yeah, Randall Spangler. It's a 56 by 56. It's a round drill. There were 44 colours and there were four ABs in 40 normal. Um, I did notice, like, I know you heard me talking about it and I know you heard me whinging. In yeah. a couple of different chats, the glue in patches sucked. It was so bad. It just yeah. doesn't seem to do it properly and it was so slippery. And, like, I've changed... I was alternating between wax and putty. I changed both out so they were nice and fresh. It was not that. I tried to even leave, like, the bottom half was worse than the top half, but there were sections of the top that was bad. 
when I found that first section was really bad, I actually opened it up and I left it out for a full day to try yeah, and and it, it yeah. helped a tiny bit, but it was slippery. I was, oh, I hated it. So, you know, a, a painting this size would normally take me maybe two or three weeks with work. The fact that it took me nearly a month shows you I struggled. Yes. It, you know, it's just not my style. Um, but, it, look, I still love the end result. I still love my Spangler kits. I love how they come out. Like, it's just, it's beautiful. It's absolutely beautiful. Yeah. And yeah. The, the the brightness to it and the amount of definition that they get in there is so so amazing. Um, yeah. Oh, it always makes me happy. I still love looking at this. Um, sorry, <laughs> these are my colors. So you can just see like the color variation. It's like the rainbow. It's gorgeous. Yeah. This is my trash. Yeah. <laughs> Not good. It's unreal, isn't it? Sorry. I'm trying to get like the right sort of an angle. There you go. So for a kit this size with rounds that are supposed to be less problematic, that's bad. It is. Yeah. That is it's really bad. Really bad. Yep. And like so many, you know, again, I'm nitpicking here, but I don't know if you can see properly. You've got like, can you oh wait, there's there's the focus that there. Long, there's long, long multiple yeah. of those all through it. Yeah. Sorry about that. I had a few of them. So anyway, I love this one, but I'm glad it's done. <laughs> <laughs> with, your, with your diamond dots one. So that was my yeah. fair, fair, hey? <laughs> exactly. Well, that was my <laughs> second finish for July. Um, that ended up being oh, what number was it for the year though? It was quite high. Um, my pen Sorry, guys. Should have been more organised. <laughs> <laughs> um, second finish for July. That was my 14th finish for the year. Nice. Yep. Yeah. All right. Mash them out. <laughs> <laughs> oh, look at how cute yours is. Yes. Isn't she gorgeous? This. I have been wanting to do this kit for donkey's year so i bought this one back um the 12th of may 2021 this is another one of my 2021 kits <laughs> um this is bubble fairies by randall spangler <laughs> yeah i'm getting through them i tell you um so this again i i use this one to support the spangler event and i i started this one on the 1st of july finished it on the 28th of july and it was my ninth finish for the year. Um, this one has 52 colours, has two ABs, which is like, it's one, four, one, yep, and the one, two, six. So they just come out so beautifully. They're just in all the bubbles and um, they don't oh, even have the green one through the through the draggling. So I, I adored this. It was confetti. You wouldn't think it, but... Oh, I struggled with the confetti. The only bit that was like colour blocking was the curtains. The rest was like all mixtures of colours. The castle was so fun to do. That was probably one of my favourite. I, I did have an issue with one of the colours. It was um, DMC 209. So that was one of the lighter purples, which I used a fair bit. So I think it was down in the bath. And it was had a really strong smell and the drills were really oily. And, like, I've never experienced oily, oily diamonds before, but they were just out of the world. It was so slick and it was horrible to the point where I was going like, oh, to um, wash them. So, oh, no. um, yeah, no, I was – it. luckily I kind of finished and got through it. But um, this was my trash. So very similar to what you experienced. There was, like, long pieces of the diamonds there mixture of every colour so it wasn't just specific to one thing but um yeah I did enjoy this one this one was really beautiful to complete so oh, I, yeah so Love cool it. about that one how many have you done for the year now hey how many did you do for the year now oh I've done 10 <laughs> Woo double digits <laughs> <laughs> yeah, welcome to the club. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> All right. Have you got? Oh, yeah. That's right. You've got some more. Yeah. All right. Now I've got my August ones. 
So I will say I did actually do a, a non-licensed kit. I don't really want to show it on the channel just because it is a uh, stolen artwork piece. However, it was still a kit that was important to me because my dad, he did a whole heap of stuff over Christmas and he really genuinely tried to get me kits that I would love and I would enjoy. So, you know, it meant something to me. I wanted to do it to be able to show him. Um, but... Sorry, guys, I'm not showing it on here. Um, so I'll skip over that one, but it only took me a couple of weeks. Um, the next one was this gorgeous one. It's called Pasta Poppy. Um, it's a cute little one. I love it. Um, so this one, I started on the 11th of August and I finished it on the 23rd. So it was just shy of two weeks, so it wasn't too bad. Um, it's a 43 by 43. It is a full drill. So, yes, I had to do a whole heap of colour blocking for the background. <laughs> <laughs> um, look, it still came out really cute. I love it. I do enjoy the Mary Lyon Casanave ones. I just, I think they're really, really cute. And they're just a great size. They, they just make me happy. I love it. Um, yeah. This one had colours. So four of them were ABs. And... Look, I found it was quite nice to work with. Um, I think, you know, the advantage that there weren't too many dark drills, which meant I didn't have too much trash, which is always a nice bonus for me. Um, but I'll show you the amount of trash I had left. It actually wasn't horrendous. That was, that was trash. No, too bad. Right. considering it's yeah. square. So that's not bad. Um, again, a few of those, like, long shard things, which is annoying, but that's fine. Um, leftover drills, like plenty. Yeah. So, really wasn't concerned that I was going to be running out of anything. Um, Lord did get a message from me just as I was finishing it, and she was listening to my frustration over the fact that <laughs> in this kit there yeah. were four bags of uh, eight one nine, which is this sort of creamy colour. So a lot of it was like in the background and in part of the pasta and little bits of the dog. Um, and I got down to seven left and I'd used three <laughs> bags and I had to open a bag for <laughs> seven grills. <laughs> I didn't even have that particular colour in my stash that it could have just been like, I'm just going to go and use these. I didn't even yeah. have it. <laughs> I had to open <laughs> one bag for seven drills. But anyway, oh. that's yeah, no problems. I get it. It was just frustrating for me. So if I hadn't been so picky, <laughs> I probably would have had enough. Yeah. Um, yeah. Definitely. That was, <laughs> that was technically my second finish for August because I did the non-licensed one. Um, and it's my 16th finish for 2024. Wow. Now, now, now I'm going to very quickly show you one last one that I did because then we're going to talk about our width. Um, sorry, the last one. Yeah. Oh, I've done that one. It's gorgeous. I um I was sorry, I've noticed I've done a few of the smaller kits this this couple of months. Um I think yeah. life has been a bit bit full on at the moment and there's been a bit of stuff going on at work. So I think I just needed some smaller kits just to keep me going, keep me fresh. So I actually really enjoyed this one. Again, Marilyn Casanova. It is only a partial. Thank goodness I didn't have to do all of that purple background. Oh, my gosh, that would have drove me nuts. <laughs> I would. You wouldn't have bought it. <laughs> <laughs> That's true. Um, it is around, there was 22 colours. Two of them are ABs. Um, so, interestingly, it's the white, the one for one, and the black, 102. Um, yeah. And there was so much static. Oh, my gosh, so much static. Um, so out of 22 colours, I needed dryer sheets in 13. Wow. So that was, cool. that's <laughs> that was really, really bad. So kidding up just frustrated me. I thought I could knock kidding up. I was actually going to do a kidding up video for this one. And once I started shaking the bags, I was like, no. No, this will drive me nuts. I cannot do that in a video. So I'll find another one that I can do a proper kit up video and talk about the containers and things, but this is not going to be that one. Um, <laughs> bad. Um, so I ended up just using the little Tic Tac containers as my storage kit for these. Um, but look at how little trash there was. Oh, sorry. I blocked the phone. Yeah, that's sorry. not much. 
But still, yeah. it's a little kit. That's still, you wouldn't expect that much from a little kit. Yeah, but you're going to have picky I am. So I'm yeah. I'm not fully surprised on that. <laughs> <laughs> Good, really. Um, but like you can see me. Yeah, you can see how many dry sheets I've even had to leave oh, in there. Yeah. yeah. It was, oh, disgraceful. And look, they're even, oh, I don't think you can really tell, but I'm even looking at like the sides of some of them and I can see drills stuck to the side, even with drier sheets in there. Still with dry sheets. Oh, oh my gosh. It was bad. It was just really bad. Um, but I still love the image. And, you know, I know it is that, that controversial black being the, you yeah. know, the peacock word, but. I actually think it's come out really, really nice because it's with the purple. You know, I yeah. I'm half expected it to be a little bit more, hoping to be a little bit more black for that real clear outline. But it's adorable. And the it peacock nice. colors work. Yeah, so, it yeah. works with the purple. It really does. Yeah. It's the right yeah. one to there. Yeah. Yeah. I didn't yeah. like it in the cat, though. Where did they – they put it in the cat, didn't they? Yeah, they sort of did in it in that. Yeah, yeah, your little – V yeah. or M mark in your cat. Um, so that was interesting. Um, I was the same, but when you sort of step back and look at it, like from this sort of a, a viewpoint, it's not horrendous. It, it's weird yeah. when you're up close, but it's yeah. not horrendous. Like, I, it I agree. I of, thought it was different. Yeah, it really outlines it, doesn't it? It makes it a it bit does. more noticeable. Yeah. 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 So I agree. It, it was weird, but. I don't hate the end result. It it does blend enough in with the, the darker colours. It's not that bad. Yeah. yeah so that was my third finish for August, my 17th finish for the year. Oh, <laughs> seven ahead of me. <laughs> and now for the whip. <laughs> now for my whips. Okay. So this one I started on the 28th of July this year. <laughs> um. And I, this is Ice Princess by Hannah Lynn, and I bought this one from Diamond Art Club back on the 3rd of July, 2021. <laughs> um, <laughs> I'm loving this one. It's a round kit. It's got 33 colours and three ABs, and I, I love Hannah Lynn kits. It's, this one is just so beautiful, and this is the first edition. So I know she, they did come out with two editions of this same painting, and the second one, it doesn't have... This is like the full picture of it. The second one sort of cuts it off a bit. But, yeah, this is um, – I will get back to this one very soon. It is confetti. I, I wasn't hoping that it wouldn't be that bad, but I, I will get back to it soon-ish. <laughs> I've got other things that are more exciting to me at the moment. So um, <laughs> I can't wait to see these other ones, to be honest. Oh, the other ones are amazing, I tell you. Um there is line blocking, especially down here, and it's kind of weird. Like, it doesn't look too bad from a, from a distance, but up in the hills here, it's yellow and green and pink, and I think that's meant to be the aurora. So I think that's what it's meant to be, but when you look at it really close and in person, it kind of looks quite strange. <laughs> but through the camera, you really can't see it. So it's, Like, I can kind of look for it now, but... yeah. Like it's yeah. subtle, like in the camera, but far out. It's the wrong sort of yellow, I think. It needed to be a bit more tame. But I'm getting down to like the bottom part of her dress and the owl was just so cute. <laughs> Love the owl. And then they've got a snow leopard on this side. So um, this is this is going to be beautiful down this part. Of course, the rendering is gorgeous and um, skin colour is lovely. Yeah, this is my first whip going into the next two months <laughs> do you want me to show you my... <laughs> all right you want me to see the next one you ready for it show me show me show me show me show me, show me. this one Ooh, it's looking awesome oh it, it is unreal i tell you so this one is rainbow dragon by mikey bergman from dreamer designs Okay, or if so you this one, lovely put it, you're calling it Herbert. Herbert, yes. This is Herbert, everybody. Everybody meet Herbert. Herbert meet everybody. <laughs> I am in heaven. It's a square. Oh I tell you, it's, I bought this. When did I get this one? Let me check my book. Um, it was in July sometime, and then I started it on the 19th of August. 
So as soon as I pretty much did an unboxing, I did kit it up straight away. And when I was talking to Belle, she's like, oh, start down the bottom of it because you'll like that a bit more and leave your colour blocking to the to the end. I'm like, yeah, righto. Well, I did that. <laughs> and I was like, meh, I want to get to the top. <laughs> so I've done, I'm on to my third row and the colour blocking was beautiful. I did enjoy all that. It's um the colours are just incredible and the detail in Herbert. Oh, I so and look I, at the tan, even on those blacks, they're gorgeous. Yeah, it is just I'm so impressed. Yes, okay, there's typical trash. I'm dealing with it. I don't care. It doesn't bother me. The gapping, it's like meh, I'm not even noticing it. It's just no. sort of my placement, you know? And that is incredible. So I'm getting down. Most of the confetti is going to be through Herbert's face and in through the side, and then I can get into this incredible part. So, um, this, this will probably be like a work in progress in between other work in progresses <laughs> um, <laughs> because it's so big. What is it, 60 by 90 centimeters? So, um, this one might be another whip to show in the next um, um, one we show, but um, yeah. This is incredible. I'm so glad I got this one. <laughs> finally, finally bought it. But yeah, this watch, keep watching. You might see this in some whipping chats that we do in the future. It's looking so good. Now, how yeah. many whips did you get left? Do you want me to show you my one or have you? Oh, I've got one more. So you show yours and then I'll go okay. to my last one. Okay. All right, now this is quite big, so I'm going to move it around so that you can see a little bit more of it. Um, but I think most people have seen I've done it in a couple of weapon chats. So this is Dreamer Designs. It's oh, it's Italian. La Scala <laughs> Pro Passe. I'm so so sorry. Please, I'm I'm an Aussie. I don't know Italian. Um, <laughs> The hardest is Guido Barelli. It's a 90 by 60 as well, Loz. So I feel you. I feel you 100%. Um, it's yeah. round. It, it is round at least. I don't know why, but I just, I don't know. I haven't been feeling it as much. I think largely because last couple of months, you know, things have been going on, as I said. You know, I just yeah. haven't wanted to do a really big one. And I've noticed I've started doing it upstairs, sitting on the couch, watching TV or the Olympics or YouTube videos on TV or whatever. And it's too big to really comfortably sit on my lap. So I sort of yeah. ride away a little bit more from the big one. So, But I'm really enjoying how this has come out. I love how this image is looking. Uh, so I started this one on the 1st of June. So well, it's three and a half months. I'm not happy about that. So I'm going to start smashing this out. Um, but just to give a little bit. I think the detail. That's incredible. Mm -hmm. okay, that detail is just... Yeah, right. It's amazing. You wouldn't even know that it's diamond art. That's it. That's it. That I mean, the fact that it's just sparkles. It's just spectacular. You know, like even down yeah. to like you know the cobbled streets and things. Apologies, that's the um, the shadow from the recording arm. So just just ignore that. Yeah. <laughs> it's not that. a big um, dent. <laughs> Yeah, it's not a dance and it's it's not a bad place in a drill. It's it's just the the shadow. Um, but you know, just the the colours are just gorgeous. You know, the the door and things. I love how this has come out. Um, I will say at the end of August, if we want to be, you know, really, really quite technical, um, I did get to basically here. I was halfway through. Oh wow, yeah. Um, when it when we did actually clock that over um so i've done a little bit of work so far so i've done another column and a little bit at the top oh sorry and i just want to show you how good the roof is looking oh that is incredible sorry you, you don't even know that that's a diamond painting no no it just absolutely gorgeous i will oh. say the, it's one two three four ab's in this um, out of 60 colours. So, you know, there is a lot of opportunity for them to really show some definition. But I want to show you, I'm going to see, is there anything down here? No. Nah. Let me flip it around. Sorry if I make anyone dizzy. So <laughs> in here, it's actually an AB. So the, the paler pink, it is an AB. Um, and it actually doesn't look too bad here. But in real life, it actually almost looks more like, a, I think, I think the common term is like a jelly crystal 
it oh, actually okay. doesn't have a huge amount of shine on it. It it seems to sit up a little bit higher and it's I don't know, it's a really interesting drill. Um but I quite like yeah, see there's less shine of it in here now. Um yeah. So it looks it looks a little bit more jelly like. It's a really interesting colour, but I really, really like it. So so yeah, so I'm enjoying this one. And now that you know life is improving a little bit, I've just got to wake up and set up on the couch. Um, but after that, I'm yeah. gonna be smoking this out. I'm really loving how this is looking these days. So oh, this incredible. one will be in another whip and chat soon. Beautiful. Another exciting one. <laughs> well, I'm so, so excited to see this. Again, after an unboxing, I decided that I had to kit this one up straight away. <laughs> um, so this is DD by Hannah Lynn, and it's from Art and Soul Diamond Paintings. And they are an incredible new company, and I think everybody needs to jump on. We'll put the link um, in the description, and I think everybody needs to go and check them out. Um, when I wanted this one in from a previous company, missed out because it got discontinued. And as soon as I saw Aunt Soul got it, um, yeah, I jumped on the chance. And I could tell you the rendering is amazing. The diamond quality is just to die for. The the glue is amazing. I'm enjoying every ounce of this kit. <laughs> I started this one last weekend and I've only worked on it two days i think oh my god two days, and i'm already <laughs> over half so this is it's it's only what is it 40 by 60 i think it is but even so you're smashing that out like 51, uh, no it's 51 by 71 so okay. it's uh, yeah i like, there's plenty of color blocking it is it is truly incredible i was a bit concerned about the color of her face but it is very true to the the original picture so um, if anything, I'd probably wanted a, like a shade lighter or something, but having these bits of pink and yellows and purples through her face is just amazing. Her lips are incredible. And, and I've got to show you, there's what, so three ABs and two soul dust, and they're, they're mm. like a glittery type of drill. But how, considering there's so much black in this, I think there was like five full bags of it. What do you think my trash would be like? If it's black, it should be fairly bad. <laughs> fairly bad? Horrendous, you reckon? Okay, yeah. so I'm over halfway. Yeah. I want to show you this. Oh, is that that it? is my trash. That is it. Oh, my gosh. That is it. That is all the little pieces I've had. There's a couple of misshaped ones, I tell you. And I'm picky as well, but there's hardly anything. Well so done. This is, oh, that's impressive. I tell you, it's incredible. So this one I'd love to do a post review on when we're done and yep. show what it's fully like. And, yeah, um, please run out and get them. <laughs> These are incredible kits and I, I really would like to get this done by next week or something. By, the, by next weekend would be nice. <laughs> the way you but, go yeah, I'll work on it in the next Whip and Chat and show you a bit, bit close up. That looks great. Okay, maybe I am going to have to just suck it up and go and buy some. I don't think it's so much dash. <laughs> oh, that's okay. yes. so good. So what's your last whip? No, nope, that's it. That's it. <laughs> that's oh, it. That's right. um, yeah, I, I haven't done anything on that Christmas one and it's not quite the right time for me to start it. So... I'm just, I'm not going to pull it out until the next video that we do of this and then I'll pull it back out because I think I'll work on it November, December time. Oh, that's um, right. I remember that yeah, one. Yeah. Yeah. So I'll, I'll put my hand up, didn't even touch it. Um, and I went away last weekend. We'll talk about it in our whip and chat if you watch that video. But um, I started, I, I decided I was going to do more in the car because clearly I'm very, very skilled at being able to play drills. <laughs> um, and I started the Paint Gem Space one. I oh. also finished the paint gem space one. So I've already got a finish for this month and I'm looking forward to showing oh. you all how to do it. But um, <laughs> it, it, that one was a little bit smaller. They're really, really cute. So 
I'm glad I got those. And they were the perfect size to do sitting on the couch. So, <laughs> yeah. so I am going to get there. Um, and I've also got a, another Randall Spangler kitted up to go. So I'm hoping I'm going to start that one once my lovely big Italian one, I don't really want to try and say the name again, apologies. Uh, when I get that one done, I'm going to start on the Spangler, I think. And oh, then you and I we got to coordinate so we can work on a, a mystery kit together. Our um, mystery, I'm, exactly. I think it's going to be a Gen 1 next year sort of thing. So we can get all these sort of that we're planned for out of the way. But we'll talk about it in the whipping chat. But, yeah. 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 That's our plan yeah, for the rest of the year. I've got these three to get done. Perfect. <laughs> <laughs> the two of them are going to get done real fast. Yeah. Or well, this one will be done by next week. But, yeah, <laughs> Herbert, he's going to take me a while. But I'm going to savour every bit of that one. <laughs> yeah, it is looking so good. Both of them are, actually. Yeah. I'm really enjoying it. Yeah. All right, so everyone out there, tell us what have you finished in the last couple of months and what are you working on? Tell us tell us all the things. You know, we're, we're getting our mojo back and we're really starting to enjoy some of these different brands and different kits that are available. So yeah. tell us everything. Um, and if you like this video, of course, don't forget to give us a thumbs up. And if you like the crazy and the, the insanity that we are, please join us for the long run <laughs> and subscribe. Um, but otherwise, I hope you all have a lovely, lovely week and we'll catch you in a video very soon. Thanks, guys. Bye. Bye.